Greetings. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for listening. Just to share a bit of knowledge of a mother, maybe some mothers, most, I can imagine, who lost a child. It's a life sentence of grief and semi-depression. You get over the initial horror of it all when the company and the friends and the visitors wane down and you're left alone. That's when your grief really sets in. But then when you somewhat recover and can venture out into the world, that child is on your mind every day, throughout the day. They walk around the house with you. They're on your shoulder. They're with you everywhere you go. There is nowhere you can go that that child is not with you. It comes to your mind throughout the day. Everything reminds you of that child that is no longer here. A song, the music that they used to like. You, you take on that attribute. Whatever age they passed away at, they forever young. But if it's seven years later, you wonder how handsome that man would be. Or your daughter, how glorious she would be. And they're not here. That movie, uh, Dead Man Walking. It's not to that extent. But some mothers are just waiting out to leave this place to join their child. Someone said uh, once, don't you have other children? Why are you just concentrating on the one that's gone? And you see it all the time in the movies or whatever, when a child is deceased, they ignore the mother and the father, maybe both ignore the rest of the children, not meaning to. But someone gave this analogy. You may have all your teeth, but when one of them hurt, that's where that tongue is going to go. It's going to focus on where the emptiness is, where the pain is. It's just human nature. You get, it gets better. You get better. But trust me, they are forever walking with you. When you see that person, you could just about believe and trust that child is on their mind. They just got through thinking about them or they're on their way to thinking about them again. They never leave you. I just wanted to share that. You may see them smiling and laughing and giggling and having fun and you think they overcame. You think that they good and they're not suffering anymore. Not so. It will always be that way for some. Always and forever until you go and meet that child. Peace, if you can find it. It's a horrible thing to lose a child. And I think about Tamir Rice, mother. They wouldn't even allow her to go and kneel down next to her son as he was dying alone. 
The race soldier told her that if she did not calm down, he would put her in the back of his car, handcuff her, along with her daughter, who was so emotional, seeing her brother dying alone. And then the mother came out and he threatened her. I think of Khalif Browder's mother. After he, they released him from maximum prison, up there with men, never was charged with a crime, never had a trial. Three years, he suffered, beaten. And he, they wanted him to confess to something he did not do. He would not. It messed up his mind. When he got out, three years later, he tried to cope. But succumb. And his mother followed him from grief. That happens. The grief can be so bad, it will stop your heart. And some have to get a defibrillator to keep the heart going. When you only wanted to be with that child, but you stayed for the sake of other children. Or someone else that needs you. But dead man walking, you just waiting out your sentence so that pain can forever be gone because it never goes away and I'm going to end with that peace if you can find it thanks for listening peace